hey my love girls so this is just gonna be a little i know i've been popping out videos for the past few days just like going and going but um it's just a lot of thoughts a lot of racing thoughts i have a lot of um you know opinions about everything <laughs> in every genre but i do want to talk about um you know boy meets world for a second i you know and i've done two videos about um boy meets world more more specifically about Sean Hunter and, um, Sean and, uh, Sean and Angela Moore's, um, relationship on that show. I was just, personally for me, it's just, I, I, I just like them more. And if y'all want to go and, um, you know, watch the, the videos that I did on Sean and Angela, I, there's, there's only two, um, thank God for y'all because it's like, I haven't done a, a lot of content on them, but, um, I did put up two videos like about a year ago about um what Sean Hunter to attach to Angela and my thoughts on Trina McGee's um episode on the Boy Meets World podcast. I know she did a um she was a guest um on the podcast that she did with Ryder Strong and um the other um cast. So yeah y'all definitely tune into my videos on those two. Um because I'm I'm definitely a fan of Sean and Angela as a couple. Y'all feel me, y'all know what I'm saying. Um and you know, I, you know, I'm on Twitter, I'm on social media, and I feel like I and I actually want to get y'all's opinion on this. It's not more so me, per se, but more so yours opinions on the situation. So I've noticed, like on Twitter, like there's been a lot of debate and like, you know, who was the better couple? Was it Sean? Was it Sean Hunter and Angela, or was it Corey and Topanga? And of course, you know, the show was more so centered around Corey and Topanga, their story, their love story, you know, Corey's, Corey's side of the family, that sort of thing. Um, of course, Sean Hunter was, you know, the sidekick for Corey. And we did see Sean's story as well. And, you know, um, Angela came in a few episodes, a few seasons later. But it seems like Sean and Angela left more of a lasting impact. And this is just my own opinion. I think that they their relationship, their dynamic, left more of an impact than um, Corey and Topanga. Because I, I just, you know, Corey and Topanga, their storyline, their love story, one, it was all over the place because the writers kept on switching how they met. That's number one. Number two, I it, it just it felt very like okay, well, this is what's supposed to be. This is what's happening here, and then, you know, with Sean and Angela, there was more. I feel relatability. There was more so of a. You can see yourselves in these characters. Not to say you can't see yourself in Corey or Topanga, but like I felt like with Sean and Angela, there was more oomph with their storyline, and. You know, and I noticed that, like, especially on social media, when it comes to Sean, when it comes to Angela, they tend to win a lot of the popularity polls. They tend to win a lot of the, you know, who would you rather, um, which couple was the best, um, who do y'all prefer? And a lot of people do choose Sean and Angela. And it does go, you know, goes to show you, like, a lot of times these writers for these shows, and this is just like across the board, like they tend to ruin a really good thing just to satisfy their egos because it's like they see the fans are getting behind something. They see the fans enjoying a particular storyline or enjoying a couple, enjoying a character, and they would just go and sabotage the character just to be like, well, this is not the, the couple that y'all was supposed to like. Y'all was supposed to like this couple. And... It's really telling, and honestly, I feel like if Boy Meets World would, were to happen today, I think that, you know, this whole thing would have been called out more due to, like, the whole social media presence and that sort of thing. Um, I think a lot of things would have been called out, you know, when it comes to um, the way Sean was treated and the way Angela was treated at the end and the fact that they you know, they broke, even though, like, I had no issues with the breaking up stuff, especially towards, like, the beginning, like, the first breakup, because it was, like, you know, it, we needed Sean to grow as a person, and we needed also Angela to grow as a person, 
which was I, I loved that character developing between the two and, and I loved oh my god I loved the way that they brought them back together but it was just more so obviously like towards like the last season the ending of the show where they made Angela just leave I, I hated that I hated that I hated that like they should have just left them together but you know the writers always have to sabotage shit just to make their phase you know be the star couple but you know like I said the GP loves Sean and Angela you know and you know, Trina McGee, obviously, you know, she was the, really the, uh, the token black of, of Boy Meets World. And, you know, she, she got she got what she got. I will say this, though. I do feel like her character was also written well. I love the fact that she had her natural hair. Um, you know, she you know she really, really was represented well in the show, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, you know, obviously, you do wish that her and, and Sean should have, ended up together as a couple but um unfortunately sometimes these men these these writers in these boards and you know these directors they don't want they don't they don't want fetch to happen so um it is what it is the gp still still believes that johnny angela in the game it is what it is i do want to end this video by saying that i do have a a what pad over here so basically um I am trying to, you know, put out story, you know, try to do a little bit of revisionist history with um Sean and Angela's story. Um, y'all guys can, you know, go up on my web pad. It's obviously it's Ronnie Lipton. Um, so it's um so I already have the first so uh one, two, three, four, five. So I have five parts, five chapters already up. So if y'all want to go and check that out, I definitely say y'all guys go up there and go check it out. Um, I, I'm not going to lie, I have been procrastinating a little bit on this. But, you know, I'm definitely going to be on my A-game um, this year when it comes to, you know, completing the story. Um, I really enjoyed this couple, um, watching them, watching them grow. So I'm excited to see how people from different, you know, from different perspectives um, see um, my point of view on how I wanted um the show to end but um especially for Shawnee angela so you know you guys tell me what you guys think in the comment section below please like comment and subscribe 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 you know tell me what you guys feel about Shawnee angela as a couple do you guys think that they should have been endgame which they are endgame in my mind and do you guys feel like you know they were the more relatable the relatable couple compared to um tori court as a tori oh my gosh Corey and topanga but yeah y'all subscribe to the channel subscribe 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 and i'll talk to you guys later bye